this video I'm going to show you how to make a socket uh, flathead flathead socket head cap screw now because it's a flathead you're going to want to use the revolve tool because it's got this angle on it and I'm just going to sketch something for now so what I'll be doing is getting that shape Then I'm going to revolve it around here because that'll give me the angle. So if you don't have the dimensions, you'll have to look up the dimensions and that's really easy to find. Just go on Google, type in dimensions for flat head, socket head cap screw. You can find charts and so forth. Now for a um, standard flat head screw, the total angle is an 82 degrees so because I'm going to revolve it around it's going to be 41 on half and then you revolve it around it'll be 41 on the other now this is a 3 8 bolt now notice that line is not vertical so let's fix that so add relation oops let's see open that thing up click on that line it'll give me my options what I want to do is make it be vertical so see how it put that thing by there that little symbol that tells you that line is now vertical it's blue because it doesn't have enough dimensions yet. Uh, it's a 3 8 bolt, so this needs to be half of 3 8 which is 0.1875. And they need to know the height of that bolt head. That from there to there is actually 0.23. Oh, it's already determined because the angle. Okay. Uh, let's see, I need the length. In this case, this one's kind of a long, it's a long bolt, 4.75. And let's go with that. So now we'll go to features, revolve, and just need to click the axis of revolution, which would be that. And that gives me my body of it anyway. Now I want to put, um, this one is, again, it's a socket head cap screw. It goes in there for like an Allen wrench. So we're going to need to make a new sketch on that. And you'll notice you have a tool for polygon, and that'll give you that hex shape. So, so click on the center. And <clears throat> you're going to want to orient it, have some kind of control over the orientation. So I'm going to purposely not orient it properly. And I'm going to call it this dimension. Again, I just looked it up in a chart and saw what size wrench it was. In this case, it's a 0 0.22, 0 0.22 um, size wrench. Not size, but that's the dimension of the wrench. Um, now, again, I, I want this to orient. So go up to display relation, add relation, click on one of these. It doesn't matter which one. And let's make it horizontal. And notice how it's black because it's totally controlled and then we'll want to do an extrude cut on that and again I looked it up and the depth of that is 0.16 it's not much but this isn't a really large screw that takes care of the head we're going to want to add threads to it now when you're making threads with SOLIDWORKS it's good practice not just for SOLIDWORKS but you always want to put a chamfer on the end of a bolt Think about trying to put that bolt. If you ever try to assemble something, if it has a chamfer on it, it's so much easier to start the bolt. So I'll put a chamfer on the end there. It's going to be small, like, uh, let's see, 625. Ooh, that's too big. It's a big bolt. Okay, so let's go 0.03125. So like a 30 thousandths chamfer. And then we'll go to our, I'll go to Whole Wizard, but click on this little guy and click on Thread. Now pay attention to a couple of things here, what we got going on. Uh, it is a male thread, so you're going to use a die to cut that. It's not going to be a tap, and it's going to be an inch die. It's a 3816. So let's see if there's anything else we need. To it's a right-hand thread. You shouldn't have to change any of this other stuff, I don't think. Uh, click on that right there. And now it's just going to put whatever number happened to be in here for the amount of, for the, I'm sorry, for the thread depth that's right here. So uh, what I want is 0.825, I want 5 eighths of thread and say, okay. And there is my bolt.